Hi guys. Look, it's Nico and Sassy. Nico, you haven't been in a children's sermon yet. I wanted the kids to meet you. Thanks for stopping by. Hi kids, it's me, Pastor Patricia, and I'm outside at my house because I want to talk about in the children's sermon this idea of living stones. Jesus says that living stones is how he builds his house. Hmm, the house of the church. And, and then Peter talks about it in one of the readings that we have this morning, is that it's the church is built out of living stones. Are you and I living stones? That's kind of weird, isn't it? And how can God make something out of stones? I mean, really, look at this. You, you stack them up and pretty soon it's all going to fall down, right? Well, at least some of it did. But here, I brought you outside because I wanted you to see. I have this retaining wall, too, right here. This is by my rose garden. See? I have roses growing. And this retaining wall is really strong. You see how the stones all fit together? There's a bunch of moss on them, too. But they're designed that way so that they fit together really well and create this really strong wall that holds back all this dirt where my rose plants are. So, does that mean God is going to take you and me that are kind of shaped like this, maybe, and forge us into the right shape so that he can make us work correctly? Yeah, that doesn't sound right. But if we're living stones and the church is built out of us, it's got to be something like that, right? Well, maybe it has something to do with cooperation. Because, you know, as I think about this more and more, I wonder if maybe God wants to use us cooperatively. Have you ever worked cooperated with your brother or your sister or your friend to create something wonderful? Well, God can use living stones, you and me, cooperatively so that we create something bigger than ourselves. I'll let you look at the stones again. They're more fun. So... I ask you this week to think about how you can be living stones, where you can be part of a plan to create something bigger than just you and me. And that plan is God's plan. God wants to change the world person by person, stone by stone. And the thing he uses to change the world is love. So you and I will be used by God to create the church out of love. I like that. Let's stay with that. Okay, I'm going to pray, but let's look at Sassy while I pray. You know, doesn't everybody want to look at Sassy while we pray? Here we go. Precious Lord, thank you for loving us. It is what makes all the difference. We know you love us. Pour your love into us and show us how to love the world, and through that, to be used as living stones to create the church. Bye, guys.